Fair middle school math teachers, today's video is going to be all about how to teach subtracting integers to our middle school math students. If we don't already know each other, my name is Kathy Martin and I'm the creator of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Middle School Math Membership. We are your one-stop shop for everything you need to teach middle school math. That includes everything you need from instructional videos, lesson plans, PowerPoints, practice problems, printable resources like coloring pages, mazes, and task cards, and digital resources like digital escape rooms, mix and match activities, and digital task cards, because we have to be ready for both. Am I right? In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the only way that I teach subtracting integers to my middle school math students. Now, it's really important to be aware that in order for our students to be successful with subtracting integers, they have to know the basic skills in adding integers. And if your students are having difficulty with adding integers, I would love to invite you to come join me in our free four part mini series all about how to teach adding and subtracting integers. You can click the link right here um, or click the link below depending on how you're watching this video um, to join us for this free, it's totally free four part mini series. In the series, I'm gonna be sending you via email, videos, resources, and strategies that you can use right away in your classroom. Okay, so let's jump right in on how I teach subtracting integers. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen with you. So here I am. Now it's very important when I teach how to teach what how, when I teach my students how to teach subtracting integers, I am actually telling them that they are never subtracting. And usually at this point, they're like, what? What do you mean? Like you're crazy talk. No, no, they're never subtracting because I have them remember three letters. And that is simply K A O. And this stands for a for keep, A for add, and O for opposite. Okay, so K, A, O, that's it. Okay, so let's do a couple of examples. So if I had the example, let's see, five minus negative three. Okay, so I'm just actually gonna rewrite it down here. So five minus negative three. Now, what they're gonna do is they're gonna keep this front number, they're gonna change their subtract to an add, and they're gonna take the opposite of their second number, which is negative three, so the opposite will be positive three. So now their question becomes five plus three, which is eight. Okay, so let's do another example. So if I had seven minus negative two, Okay, so we're gonna keep the seven. We're gonna change our subtract to an add, so this becomes a plus. And what is the opposite of negative two? Positive two. So then it becomes seven plus two, which is nine. Okay, so if I had a question like negative five minus negative one, again, I'm gonna keep the negative five and this is where your students are going to have to have a grasp of adding integers. You're going to change your subtract to an add, and then you're going to take the opposite of negative one, which is positive one. So now I have negative five plus one. So what is negative five plus one? Well, they're different signs. So you're going to actually subtract them, which is four, and you're going to take the sign of the bigger absolute value. So your answer is going to be negative four. Okay, so let's do one more because I think you're getting the gist here. Um, so if I had a question like negative nine minus three. Okay, so I'm gonna keep the negative nine. I am going to change my subtract to an add and then what is the opposite of positive three? Negative three. So now I have negative nine plus negative three, and that is gonna get me negative 12. So as I mentioned earlier, if your students are having trouble with the adding and subtracting integer rules, I would love to invite you again to come join me in our free four-part mini series all about how to teach 
adding and subtracting integers in the virtual classroom. You will walk away with strategies, resources, and all my videos on how I actually teach this. And it's totally free and everything will come to you in your email. All you have to do is click the link below in this in the description so you can sign up for that. I hope that this video really simplified how to teach subtracting integers. All you have to remember is the three letters, K-A-O. If you have any other questions, you can find me inside the Pre-Algebra Teachers Membership. Until next time, bye.